Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from grayflorals.com and today I know you're probably expecting a process video but today I only have a simple card share and some tips and tricks for using your pocket page cards. I know we all have a lot of these and as you guys know there's a lot in my kit but before we get into that I also wanted to talk about the current situation and status with everything going on and things may change over the next few days but I do want to say that I will continue to keep supporting the movement. Um, I'm heavily involved over on Instagram and um, I definitely want to make sure that you guys are getting more resources. So every time I upload a new video, I'll be including new resources both in the description and the topped pin comment. So you guys can continue to get educated and, you know, really um, help support this movement because uh, black lives do matter. And we do need to support everyone that we can at this time and help get their message and amplify their voices and their stories. But in these situations, I really didn't feel like even filming a video. But I know a lot of people come to their craft rooms and come to their scrapbooking corners to find a breath of fresh air to get away from things. But I also want to encourage you that you can't always keep looking away. There is a sense of self-education that needs to be employed and to hold yourself accountable to know these things and to become well aware of what's going on and being in with that. So again, I'll be providing some resources down below. Hopefully they're new for you and hopefully you can check them out. But since this isn't a full video that I normally post, I highly encourage you to spend the additional time before you hop to a new video to go check out that link. Um, I'm not associated with them at all. I just found these great resources that I thought you guys might be interested in to continue your education and to continue taking action. I know I've done several, several things, and if you guys want to reach out over on Instagram, I can supply you with more lists of things you can do and ways you can help. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that that was the point of this video because, you know, I didn't feel like crafting or scrapbooking a happy memory. Um, but while I was making these cards, I was actually watching 13th on Netflix. I haven't finished it yet, but so far, it has been very enlightening, and if you guys haven't already, I highly, highly recommend When They See Us. It's on Netflix as well. It's a very, very great story that highlights exactly the systematic problems we have and can really put into light and frame some things in present day, despite it happening um, a bit ago. But again, if you haven't seen that, I watched that one quite a few months ago. I plan on re-watching it because it is a true story and it has true voices in it, and we should be listening all the time to them. Um, but again, now we can move on to a little bit of a lighter topic with a card share because I know you guys are trying to also take care of yourselves and your mental health and having some fun along the way while you're remaining educated. So highly recommend you turn something on, listen to a podcast, listen to an audiobook, watch a documentary um, while you're crafting. You know, do some dual purpose here like I have done. But I decided to share some tips on some Project Life cards. We have a ton of them in our stashes and sometimes they just don't make it to scrapbooking pages. And I know I've used a ton of these before for my cards and you guys probably will too after you see this video. So pairing the Pocket Life cards with some embellishments from my kit as well as the 6x6 papers in my kit and some lovely stickers. I made these four cards really simple and these will probably go into my donate pile. I didn't make these for a specific person but I think they're still happy and joyful so that you can you know just send them to be donated to one of the lovely organizations that sends them. This one might be my favorite because I did this cute little stacked plant thing like a giant cactus, a little baby cactus and then like a fern plant that is so cute. And then this one's my second favorite again because this is one of my favorite papers. Um, but if you guys are interested in learning more about the products, I will have the playlist linked down below so you guys can check out the original video that I did that shares this um, whole kit with you guys um, because I know some of you might have questions. But as you always, you can always leave a question down below in the comments to learn more. But let me know which one's your favorite. Now I'll lay these out so I can go over a few tips. Um, first off, the Project Life card can be the center of attention. Um, most of them are either pattern papers like these three or they have a sentiment. Now I didn't do any examples with things that look like this that are more so journaling card based or like this, but I would simply just put something mainly over these empty frames. Um, but you can do these in multiple ways, right? Like I could stack it like this. Lots and lots and lots of options. And if I do have, which I'm not sure if I do, but if I have another pocket page um, card video, I'll have it linked down below for you guys as well. 
But again, don't forget to check out the resources I've linked down below in case you guys are interested. But again, making the card either the main sentiment or a basis for the main sentiment works really, really well. And again, these are made from products that were sampling in my kit. So I highly encourage you to go through your stash. You probably have sentiments around you that you can put on cards that might be hard. I know I might go back with this paper pad because there are several sentiments in it, just because I love you, birthday wishes, um, etc. like that, hellos. And then there's also these cut aparts. Cut aparts make great sentiments for cards. But I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a video for today. Um, and it's okay if you don't feel like crafting right now, but also remember that you do have to take some time to take care of yourself during these times. And I know I've been struggling with that um, and not just diving into things because you can get into those rabbit holes where you still need to step back and regroup. And this making these cards was that moment for me. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and click the link down below and um, check out the resources um, and just take action when you can and educate yourself with all of the wonderful resources that have been provided as of recently. And again, I'll continue to link different things down below so you guys can continue to work on yourselves and your families and your friend groups and things like that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.